Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. I am going to show you how to keep a moving object or subject in focus and blur the background. Let's get started. I have placed my video on the timeline for purposes of facilitating visibility and ease of vision. I have deleted the audio track. First thing we need to do is to mark off the segment that you are going to be applying your effect to. Use the red timeline cursor to go to the beginning of where you want your effect to be. Hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and three icons will appear. If they don't appear, click one time on the red timeline cursor and choose split all tracks. Reposition your red timeline cursor where you wish your segment to end and I'm going to end it uh, right around here because we are going to be tracking the hand and the fingernail that is painted gold. Hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor and choose split all tracks. Because, because the effect that we wish to accomplish requires two separate video effects that are mutually exclusive that do not work together, I will have to place a copy of the clip that we will be working with above the original. So I'm going to click once and right click and choose copy. I'm going to right click on the timeline and I am going to choose paste overlay. Okay, we now have two video tracks, video track one and video track two. And I am simply going to click and drag the copy and it will snap right into place. The first effect we are going to apply is blur and we will apply it to the bottom segment. Click once to activate the segment. From the top menu, choose video effects. Scroll down to the filters and choose blur. The blur dialog box comes up. To adjust the level of blur, you can choose a preset, you can use the slider bar, or you can type in the numerical value box. I'm going to type in the numerical value box and I'm going to use a blur value of 20. When you have the blurriness you want, you can close the dialog box. You are done. Now we're going to work with adding our effect to the top segment on video track 2, which is following our object as it moves. Click once to activate the segment. Click on Video Effects from the top menu and choose Crop. The Crop dialog box comes up. The first thing is to choose whatever restraint you want to use for your Crop box, which means what aspect ratio you want for the Crop box. I'm going to choose one by one because I want a square box that I think fits my needs of focusing on the hand with the gold painted fingernail. Now you must reposition and resize your crop box to cover your subject or object. You can use the slider bars to move and to resize your crop box. You can also resize from within the box by simply grabbing it by the handles. And you can reposition by just clicking and dragging. So, to resize and reposition your crop box, you can use the slider bars, you can use numeric values, or click inside the crop box itself and use the handles. Choose whatever works best for you and your computer. You can also choose either clip preview or sequence preview depending upon your preference and your editing situation. Now, because we are going to be tracking a moving object, we need to open up something called the effect animation editor. If it's not open already, click one time on this little icon. The effects animation editor dialog box will open up. I know this looks rather ugly and intimidating, but it is not that difficult, so please don't stop the video. After you have placed your crop box to the desired position and size, make sure that your red timeline cursor is at the beginning and click on Add Keyframes at Current Position. Move your red timeline cursor until you see the image 
moving outside or away from the central part of your crop box. At that point you can again use the slider bars or just click and drag your crop box so that your subject remains in the crop box here. When you have resized it and repositioned it to where you want and to the size you want, once again click Add Keyframes at Current Position. Remember, VideoPad is going to follow you from one keyframe to the next. Repeat this process for as many times as necessary until you reach the end of your segment. I am going to once again click on Add Keyframes at Current Position. I've resized and repositioned it to the very last instance of my object on the screen, and so I am going to add another keyframe right here. And now I can watch as VideoPad follows the crop box and see if my image pretty much stays in frame. So the basic pattern is you move your red timeline cursor, reposition and resize your crop box using X and Y slider bars or you can simply reposition it within the crop box itself grabbing it by the side handles. Add as many keyframes as necessary. And when you're done, simply close your crop dialog box. I'm going to export our video and you can take a look. There, that wasn't so bad, was it? Please help support my channel by giving a thumbs up and subscribing. Click on the Community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the Playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya!